good day and a warm welcome. My name is Olona Vuyongamba and I am going to be doing an ecological planning unit for Austria. But before I do so, I would like to give you a brief overview of Austria. Austria is a country that is officially known as the Republic of Austria. It is a landlocked country in the Central Europe. However, due to the presence of the great mountain range known as the Alps, Austria has a largely mountainous terrain. It also has four main regions of mixed broadleaf conifer forests. Thanks to the mountains, hills, lakes, and forests, Austrians enjoy a temperate alpine climate. The Austrian country is well known as the breeding ground for many of the world's famous artists, architects, musicians, and politicians. It is also a home to an amazingly diverse number of animals. The methods that I have used are methods of comparing qualitative data and research, sampling in qualitative research, recruitment in qualitative research, ethical gui guidelines in qualitative research. The first species that is endangered in the planning unit and in Austria is the Asipensa retinus, which is known as the sterlet. This fish may reach 16 kgs in weight and 100 to 125 centimeters in length, rarely exceeding a length of 3 feet. It is quite variable in correlation but usually has a yellowish ventral side. It is distinguishable from the other European species of sturgeons and the presence of a great number of whitish lateral scutes, fringe bubbles and elongated narrow snout, highly variable in length. And the second species which is endangered is the Alcedo artis. Alcedo artis is a common kingfisher also known as Eurasian kingfisher or a river kingfisher. It is a small kingfisher with, sev with seven subspecies recognized within its wide distribution across Eurasia and in the North America. This species has a large range with an estimated global extent of occurrences of 10 million square kilometers which is 3.8 million square miles. It has a large population including an estimated 160,000 to 320,000 individuals in Europe alone. Global population trends have not been quantified, but populations appear to be stable so that the species is not believed to approach a threshold for the population decline criterion of the, UI, of the IUCN red list. The third species which is endangered is a castor fiber. The castor fiber is more situated in the north and in the northeast of Austria and is one of the most important species in the country as it forms part of a great biodiversity of the country. It is also known as the Eurasian beaver or European beaver. This is a species of a beaver which was once widespread in Eurasia. It was then hunted near extinction for both its fur and castorium and by the 1900 only 1200 beavers survived. 
in my planning unit I have also used hexagons as part of explaining and planning protected areas for endangered species. The hexagon of the Australian of the Austrian country shows the diverse animals and plant species that the country consists of and the quantity of the species that are protected and those that are not protected at all plus ones that may be extinct in years to come. The protected area of Austria depicts the areas in a country that are protected areas such as the national parks and the forests. The reason for the protected areas is because it serves as the habitat for many micro and macro species that are endangered and the ones that are not endangered. A protected area is there to determine animals and plant species that are in danger and protect them. The other species that is well endangered is the Taito alba. The Taito alba, which is known as is the most widely distributed species of owl and one of the most widespread of all birds. It is also referred to as common barn owl to distinguish it from other species in its family. It forms one of the two main lineages of living owls. The other being the typical owls. The barn owl is one of the most is, is, is found almost everywhere in the world except polar and desert regions. Asia Asia and north of the Himalayas, most of the Indonesia, and some of the Pacific Islands. The other species is the Zerenthia polexia. The Zerenthia polexia is the southern festoon, insect like animal that can reach a wingspan of 60 to 80 millimeters. The female has slightly longer wings, usually lighter, colored than males. The basic color of the wings is yellow, but they have a complicated pattern of several black bands and spots. On the edges of the hind wings, they have a series of blue and red warning spots to data potential predators. The body is dark brown and bears red patches on the sides of the abandonment. The Lopau. The Lopau is a Vienna floodplain flood plain on the northern side of the Danube and partly the lower Austrasia. It has been part of the Danube Aun National Park since the 1996 and has been a protected area since the 1978. It is used as a recreational area and is known as a site of nudism. There is also an oil harbor and the Australian army uses it, it uses the Lopau as the training ground. In addition to the water coming from the Alps through the Vena, the Lopau is a source of groundwater for Vienna. Now, in my, as I was assessing my planning unit and the current planning unit, I found that the distribution of species where the species are specifically found and located in Austria, it also shows the total statistical number of the species that are found in Austria. The planning unit in this map are hexagons and they cover up a large amount of ground across parts of the Australian country. And the second assess current planning unit 
shows the distribution and the number of animals, plants and other species living in the Australian country. And it also shows the diversified and the plant species that the country consists of and the quantity of the species that are protected and those that are not protected at all plus the ones that may be extinct in years to come. In my planning unit, my planning unit shows the green part shows mostly unprotected areas and the yellow part shows protected areas. However, the unprotected species are far on the edges of the country and possibly they could be on the edges of the forest where nature is hard to maintain and hard to be controlled. As I was busy assessing the current reserve, the current map shows the total number of unprotected of unprotected current par uh, uh, parameters and species are 8 and uh, that could be due to the lack of management and maintenance or lack of funding to conserve and prevent species from being at risk. The access, the access current reserve also includes the ones such as Xeranthia polexia, Cypridium, Calexius, Castor fiber, Tito alba, Lobau, Erinaceus, Europius, Asipenza, Rhythmus, Bafo Bafo. The number of species that the total area of the final reserve is 28,031. The total area of the existing reserve is 277,890,000. Two the total area of the newly added reserves is minus 20, uh, 249,859. In my new planning unit that I have suggested for the country, the best planning unit that I have for the endangered species of the Australian country and its unprotected species is to protect at least half of the endangered species and carrying on preventing a risk of having endangered species to at least four and then one to two and in the near future no species that are endangered. However, now the endangered species are decreased to the total of four. The new planning unit will not only cover the ones that were already protected but also half of those that were endangered decreasing the risk of having species that are endangered and the loss of biodiversity. The total area of final reserves is 59,010. The total area of existing reserves is 40,638 and the total area of newly added reserves is 18,372. That is the planning reserve, that is the planning unit that might work for the Australian country. I am Olona Vuyo Ngamba, an ESS student and thank you for going on tour with me.